Roosevelt and new head coach Jared Barnett taking on East from Drake Stadium. Defense dominating for the Riders. Early on, Colin Murphy. Hey, I know that guy. Look at him in the backfield, making the sack. Scarlets forced to punt. Late first quarter, fourth down for Roosevelt. Jamison Patton looking right off the defender into the hands of Peter Fonthudef. Peter making some moves down the sideline, and number nine's gone. Looked like a pick six, but it's a Rider touchdown. Six zip Roosevelt. More defense from the Velt. Skyler James blows up the pitch. Bang! Fumble scooped up by Henry Claypool, heading the other way. Tackled at the 31. Rough Riders, though, back in business. Ensuing drive, Patton rolling out, firing deep. Check this out. Going to be tipped again into the hands of Davier Jones. Dives for the end zone. Referees confer. Touchdown, 13 zip. Roosevelt cruises from there, 47-0 over East. Des Moines Lincoln on the road at Sioux City West, and the rail splitters are not messing around. First half, Josh Jenkins in from seven yards out. Lincoln all over Sioux City West, no game at all. Rails roll 68-6 over the Wolverines. Indianola at home taking on 5A Centennial. Jags coach Jerry Pizzetti, one win away from tying Dick Ty for the all-time wins. Opening possession, Brady Blake dumps to Kale Kalerick. And the senior using the shifty moves, making people miss into the open field. A little stiff arm. Adios. End zone, seven zip Indians. Jags respond, Ty Morgan taking the handoff. He will not go down, carrying defenders into the end zone for six. But it's all Indianola from there. Indians cruise 42-13 over Centennial. Finally, Van Meter at home hosting Earlham. First quarter, Bulldogs doing on the ground. Jack Pettit keeps it himself, follows his blocks. Give me one cut right there. Adios, 43 yards. Bulldogs out quick, and they cruise in their opener. No trouble for Van Meter. Van Meter, 42-zip over Earlham.